Is our perception of time a function of structural brain change? So now there are different concepts of time and largely what is largely known, I would say, is the fact that sometimes you can experience time faster and sometimes you can experience time way slower. If you want time or if you basically are in a good state that you want to last, you experience time, at least in the moment, shorter. In the long term, if you now then remember this specific thing, actually you don't now experience it short term, but it seems way longer. So it's basically in reverse. If you experience time very briefly and it seems as time flies by, then this also means that your brain marks this experience you just had as something that was quite good, quite useful. And probably you had high levels of adrenaline and dopamine. Now, from what I remember from a recent Huberman, Andrew Huberman lab podcast episode is that, that the time resolution of memory is based on how much adrenaline and dopamine was in your system at the point of memory. Now, if we assume now that any given memory is, or the time, the resolution, basically, of the memory, and if we assume that this is largely based on how much dopamine and adrenaline was present, therefore how much the current biological mechanism marked the events that took place in importance, then this leaves open the question whether our time perception in total is just a function of brain change, not just of brain change in terms of chemicals, but of structural brain change. New neurons, axons and dendrites are a given set of these just strengthened and therefore being able to work faster. Another very interesting thing is the following. The time resolution of the memory determines to some extent, apparently, how we then perceive this memory whenever we play it back. And one key to resolving problematic memories seems to be to change the time resolution of these memories when remembering them. So therefore, if you had a car accident and you, rem you can't remember every single detail, and it takes you 10 minutes to remember this all, or maybe one minute, but it actually took place in five seconds, then altering the time it takes to remember this memory seems to be at least an indicator of how well you are able to now manually basically change the memory instead of just more or less autonomously having it played back by your system one, which is the autonomous part of your mind. You could argue now you have two different time perceptions. The one that is the one in the moment, but also the one that thinks about past experiences. Now, of course, if you think about any given thing, then I think it makes sense to at least take a look at the thing that exists, which is the current time perception. And the time perception of the current event is the time perception, again, that is based not on the memory, but on the actual given experience. And this is again largely influenced by how pleasant the state is or how unpleasant the state is. In general, if we simplify the different states we can be in into pleasant or not pleasant, then the pleasant states are the ones that want us to prolong the current state we are in and non-pleasant ones, I guess, are the ones that do the opposite. So therefore the time perception in the moment is again, based on these two states. But now in the long term, if you, for example, take a look at the past week, then if you take a look at the past week and a lot of things happened, then again, this, at least to my understanding, means that you had pleasant states that then led to high resolution memories, basically. And if you had a very repetitive and boring week, then the memory is just not as much there and the time resolution of the memory is just much lower. Now, if we think of change and change more specifically of change of our own self, then I think it would make sense to see change basically as 
consolidating more and more high resolution memories over a given period of time the more high resolution a memory on average or the memories that were made in this period of time the resolution on average is the more we probably actually changed changed our brain structurally assuming that everything we think has some structural basis which i guess at least from my current understanding of what is out there in terms of brain science and I'm not qualified by any means seems to be the case. Therefore to conclude one could argue there is at least some evidence that our time perception in the short, mid and especially the mid and long term is or seems to be or there seems to be potentially time perception as a function of structural brain change.